Same thing with being cubed. How many cubic centimeters are there in 2.11 cubic yards? Well, what are we starting with? Yards. Yards cubed. 2.11 cubic yards. And where are we trying to go? Cubic centimeters. So we need to path. Any ideas? Yards to inches. And then inches to centimeters. And sometimes when we're drawing it, we don't anticipate very well, and it gets ugly like that, and it's fine. What I'm first going to do is I'm going to pretend that exponent 3 isn't there, and I'm just going to think of yards to inches to centimeters. But really what we have to do is yards cubed to inches cubed to centimeters cubed. So I'm going to write it down first. I have two arrows. I'm going to have two fractions. First I'm going to write it down without the cubes. So I'm going to yards to inches to centimeters. And I want to put yards down here. And I want to put inches down there so they're going to cancel out. And then I'm going to put my numbers in. And then I'll bring back the cube. Well, 2.54 centimeters is 1 inch, 36 inches is 1 yard. Everybody OK so far? That's how you would convert yards to centimeters, but that's not what we're doing. It's yards cubed. So to get this yards cubed to go away, I have to divide by yards cubed. So I need to cube the whole conversion factor. OK? When I go to do that, what I'm really doing is I'm cubing each of the pieces. The numbers get cubed and the units get cubed. So now the yards cubed cancel out. Over here, I need to cube the numbers and the units. And then cubic inches cancel out. You don't cube the 2.11. The two cu it's 2.11 cubic yards. Okay. Yeah. That's a good point because, you know, there's a fair number of students that get carried away and then just cube everything. So I told you to cube almost everything. So is the 2.11 in the very beginning cube 2 in? No. No. This is 2.11 cubic yards. If, if the... 2.11 was going to be cubed, it would be either 2.11 cubed cubic yards, or we'd have parentheses around the whole thing. Because if you had um, 3x cubed in an algebra equation, would you cube the 3? No. It's 3. The x is cubed, but not the number. Units are like variables. Treat them the same way. You wouldn't cube this 3, so don't cube this 2.11. What we're doing here is we are cubing the whole thing. We're putting parentheses around it, and we are cubing everything. And if that is bothersome to you, um, please talk to me in lab, and I'll go over it and over it until you're OK with it. When we do this on our calculators, there's different ways to approach this. Um, I have a button on my calculator, and I really recommend you get the 36X Pro. They have them in stock at local Office Max and Office Depots. I went online and checked, because they don't seem to have them at Target or Walmart. Um, I have a little button that has X and a box on it. And I can use that to cube numbers. So I can go 2.11. 36, my little X box key, 3, and then I have to move the cursor over, and then times 2.54, my little box, 3, move the cursor over, press equals. You can also do times 36 three times, and times 2.54 three times. 
If you have trouble talking to your calculator, ask me and I'll help you in lab. So 2.11 times 36 cubed times 2.54 cubed gives me a big number. 1613210.75 cubic centimeters. Is that number okay? It's really big. Cubic yards, are those bigger or smaller than cubic centimeters? Bigger. They're a lot bigger. So here we have a small number with a big unit, and we're going to end up with a big number on the small unit. This is okay. How many significant figures should this answer have? Three. Our starting value has three. Some of you are going to have more trouble than others with significant figures. So here's like a little hack. Um, you'll be right, I don't know, maybe 80% of the time if you just go with the same number of sig figs as the number you started with. Usually the conversions don't affect the outcome. And this is another one of those cases where they don't. 36 inches in a yard, exact. This one's also exact. So we need three sig figs. Is it 161? It's not 161. We should put this in scientific notation and then round it off. So we move the decimal point one, two, three, four, five, six places. We're going to get 1.61. Then we're going to drop the three. That's four or less. We can just drop it off times 10. What did I say? Six? to the minus six, and then write the unit. That way then we don't have to remember to put in place holding zeros, and we're not being ambiguous. 161. Is it supposed to be a positive? Statement? It is. Yeah, it's supposed to be positive. This is a big number, right? I have positive feelings about big numbers. This is supposed to be a positive. I don't know why I did negative. So that if we were to expand that, it would be the 161 and then a bunch of zeros, mm -hmm. and then that's okay. 161, there's a 0 for the 3, and a 0 for the 2, and a 0 for the 1, and a 0 for the 0. Yeah. But this one in scientific notation is best. Any questions?